In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus Ki. This is iron 3 nitrate plus potassium iodide. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation here. That'll look like this. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Note that we have three nitrates here, and now we have three nitrate ions over here. So everything is balanced in our molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance, and that's going to look like this. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble. So if we have a nitrate, that's going to be aqueous, and then potassium compounds are very soluble as well. This iron 3 iodide, though, really, if you look this up on a chart for solubility, you'll see here, this is just a portion of a chart, we have our iron 3, and then we have our iodide ion. So we go across and up. That I means it's insoluble. So it's not going to dissolve. It's going to stay as a solid. So we'll have this precipitate form when these two substances react. So FeI3, that's our solid. That's our precipitate. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. When we do that, this is what we get. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that this FeI3, our precipitate, the solid, we don't split that apart. It's a solid. So when we have a solid, that stays together in our net ionic equation. Now we cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So reactants here, we have three nitrate ions. In the products, three nitrate ions. Spectator ions, which we cross out. Three potassium ions, and then three potassium ions here in the products. We can cross those out. What's left is the net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus Ki. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron 3 nitrate plus potassium iodide. You'll note that the charge is balanced. I have a 3 plus here, 3 times 1 minus. That's 3 minus. So these charges add up to 0. This is a neutral compound. The net charge is 0. If you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.